Hey folks, Mr. Tully. I got a package from Maker's Leather Supply. Um, I watched the video on, they did a double pistol case and a single pistol case, and I really like the pattern, so I bought it. Um, this is for the double case, you just cut two pieces. The uh, strap ends are in the bag yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to using this. I'm probably going to use it as a uh, more for a Bible cover. Um, my wife is really involved in the church and I think it could be a good market for it. And it's about the right size for, well at least for my Bible. So it should uh, should work out really well that way. I'll be able to put a couple of pen pockets inside it and such. So uh, make it very useful for those folks. This is the single case, single pistol case. And it has to be cut in two pieces. These will go together like so on your leather. And I like these because it's pistol case one, cut one, any weight from five to nine ounce. Um, also cut four straps, two to four ounce for the reverse gusset. At 36 inches. You know what? It goes, shows you the line for the shearling. Um, I just have to pick up some shearling. I didn't have any. I didn't see it on their site either. Otherwise, I probably would have got it right then and there. But, uh, oh, this is a gusset cover for the, the double pistol case. And it goes on, on the inside. Inside and outside. Covers the zipper. Pretty cool. Uh, the end of the strap for your strap end. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited about getting to these. Um, just because I'm going to do a lot of carving on, on the uh, pistol covers. So, uh, I don't know, it should be fun. I want to do one like this. I'm doing a lot of work right now on one of my 1911s. And that's what's going to go in this case. And I'm going to. I haven't decided exactly what I want like, to use for leather and what I'm going to carve on it, but there'll be some design work on it. Get rid of this. We set that aside because we'll use that. One of their centering rulers, I liked it when he was showing it because it's got an eighth inch grid over on this side. Here's your zero, lines up with the six. I opted for the 12 inch because I really don't need anything longer. And it's... uh. Once you peel the backing off it, you're going to get a fingernail under it there. You can see through it to where you're putting your marks. Or line it up on a line, which is really, which is what I do with my current uh, centering ruler that I have. So, uh, with the eighth inch grid over there, I think that's going to be pretty useful for me. A square. Now, all of this stuff, I don't remember what I spent. It wasn't a ton of money. Uh, the patterns were a little more expensive. But for the rest of this, pretty reasonable. Um, I think this will be a really nice square to have. It isn't backed. I'm peeling the paper backing off it now. But I want something that I can see through. So, that should work out pretty slick. I'm uh, excited to be able to use that. Strap ends. I thought these were pretty cool. Oh, you'll see the lines in there. So that'll you can line up any size strap on there. Uh, from what, half inch? Looks like it's probably about a half inch. All the way up to inch and a half. Plus it gives you a nice English point. If you want the round point, use the other end. So I like that quite a lot. Um, right now I use, I, uh, I don't have one laying here. I cut them out of cardboard right now. This end has all the holes, your, your slot for your buckle, two holes for your uh, snaps or whatever you're going to use, Chicago screws or snaps. Depends on what size you punch the holes. So that's pretty cool. Plus it's still got the ends on it. So you can lay it in there, cut, cut it the way you want it. I can cut it here and I can leave enough room down here for my maker's mark. I'm pretty excited to get to use some of this. 
the one pattern that I got, this is for an overnight bag, and uh, it folds out really big. And I haven't I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it if I'm going to put it on some like tag board. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make quite a few of these. The first one I got, I picked up some, uh, oh, what is it, Crazy Horse Bison or Water Buffalo or something like that uh, from Weaver Leather Supply. And, and it's been a while, so <laughs> that's why you're finding me stumbling there because I don't remember exactly what it is because um, I did pick it up quite a while ago. Um, so that's I got that specifically to make my first duffel bag out of that, and uh, I'll use some. Um, oh, not sure yet. I'm either going to use straight veg tan and just top coat it, or I might use something else. I might have to buy something else to do. So I'm I'm excited to get to use some of this stuff, but right now. Um, I've got another project that I'm working on. So I thought I'd drop this out there just for grins, show you. Um, these, their plastic templates are, are fantastic. The edges are cut really well. There's no touch-up work needed on them. I've gotten templates before where you'd have to do a little sanding just to even something out. And I don't know, I hate having to do that after you spend a bunch of money on a pattern. So these are pretty nice. Um, they're pretty, what are they, eighth inch? I think they're eighth inch. They seem pretty sturdy. So I'm actually really excited to use them. And uh, we'll make use of this ruler quite soon. So, with that being said, I just wanted to do a little unboxing. I don't do many of those because I don't unbox a lot of stuff in front of that camera. But when we get around to doing, I'm hoping to be able to do, I'll do the pistol cases. I'll make a video out of that. Um, I've got my zipper material and everything that I need to do those. Uh, I, pro I may, may or may not show the carving. I don't know. I'm not real good at it. And you find me sitting there like this doing it. <laughs> so, I don't know if anybody wants to see that. I'm not that good. But I sure give it a good old college try, you know. So, uh, with that being said, I'm out of here. Got to get back to making stuff that you need to see. Later.